I appreciate the extra set of eyes around here. I really do. Especially with some nut job robbing all these movie stores. It's, it's my pleasure. Okay, I've patrolled these parts for quite some time. I know them like the back of my hand. I fell in love with a client of mine. Who am I gonna tell, man? I got warrants. I'm a detective. Okay, I'm just joking about your warrants. Bingo. I have a case for you. At least give me your name. Some detective. Hey! Hey! Normally I'd let you keep walking, all right? But I need the money. So what's the deal with the guy you're seeing? Your boyfriend? I just don't trust him anymore. You always seem to assume the worst of a situation. I wanted to make love. Have you been tested recently? You're really bad at this, huh? Mm. Mm. Their name is Mort. Oh. But yeah, I'm pretty bad at this. I can pay you off. Hey, detective, you saved our lives. I'm yeah, just doing my job. He's become a completely different person. Freeze! Get your hands up! David. Who's David? I wonder how long it takes to clear a gun purchase. Do you have a gun for sale? Are you 12? 12. The cops, the police, the feds. Guns? I don't see any guns. What about the wall of guns behind you? I'm sorry, Morton. We just put the gun down. Listen, I already talked it. I gotta shoot somebody. You go that was the trailer for the private eye arriving in theaters on friday february 9th i'm kuya p this is nerds rule the world and as you see on the screen i'm so excited so delighted to be joined by a pair of the stars as well well a star as well as the writer producer uh yeah. on the private eye i got my man hope ayiyi who's the writer uh, ep and amazing star you might have seen him on luke cage young cotton mouse on netflix <laughs> My man Elijah Booth, welcome y'all. It's a pleasure to chat with y'all. Yes, thank you for having us. Thank oh, thank a, a pleasure, a pleasure. So I've had the uh, the honor of speaking with some of the rest of the team on this. I had a chance to talk to Eric and Eliza Roberts about this project. Uh, the, the the team, uh, the man behind it, Jack Cook and uh, Elliot, uh, all about this. I'm getting all the love from y'all, man. I appreciate it because uh, yeah. it's a crazy. It's it's it's. I was trying to talk to other friends about this, and I was talking to Jack and Elliot about this, or Andrew Cook. I, I'm, I think I'm messing up his name right now. Uh, about this, it's I'm an actor, filmmaker, fan. So this is like cut for my, cut for me. Uh, it's cut from the cloth of films I enjoy, but it's also a different film uh, and, and a gateway film for Matt Rife, who everybody knows as this hilarious comedian. Uh, but we've never seen him act before. Um, but I think through that, I think. Uh, all of y'all and just everybody else involved are going to get a lot of eyes on this and kind of see just some of the hidden talent and potential. That's one of the biggest things I saw from this film is just the potential of everyone involved. They really came with it. Y'all came with it. And, and so I'm curious what it was like for you when this project came your way, The Private Eye. I know you've been working for a while, Elijah. Hope you've been doing your thing, uh, producing and writing. Uh, what was it like climbing on board? If I can start with you, uh, Hope, because I know you uh, kind of touched up with some of the writing uh, on this project. Uh, tell me about climbing on board with The Private Eye. Yeah, The Private Eye has been in the process for several years. Um, me and Jack, we shot a project called Shootouts. It was a hip hop uh, kind of uh, movie. And uh, after that, Jack was, you know, telling me, hey, I got this idea. You know, it's called The Private Eye. And at that point, we were going to have Julia Roberts and David Duchovny be a part of the main cast. But, you know, years went by. Um, we started to see the audience changing, you know, younger members in the crowd. So we wanted to go a little bit younger. Um, so that's why we we, we chose to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, me and Jack, we hit the pavement. We started writing, you know, with Patrick Rowe, also uh, Rosalinda Books, um, just to kind of give you um, a rom-com, but in a mystery setting. You know, it's a neo-noir setting as well. 
So we could have just did any kind of normal rom-com that you see that comes out, you know, every month. But we wanted to kind of add our own feel, our own creative touch, our own flavor. And I, we definitely did that. We definitely did that. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I can see the art, man, as an artist, you know, art recognize art, you know? That's yeah. right. So, no. so uh, I love it. Um, so producing the film, you wrote, you, you, you helped collaborate with Jack uh, writing on this film. Talk to me to lead into my man, Elijah who, over here, who's just an amazing talent, you know, yeah. bringing him on board. Yeah. So, you know, producing, that's one of my favorite, you know, things to do um, alongside writing. And one of the best things about producing is being able to cast, you know, some shows and movies they do bring on casting directors, but, um, you know, Jack will tell you, I have an eye for talent. Um, so I, I have like literally list of actors, list of like just crew members, list of everybody who I know that has potential people who are on up, uh, up and up who I want to work with. Um, and Elijah Booth, I've known him since 2016 before he moved out here to LA to start his acting journey. Um, he, I remember him calling me on the phone and saying, hope I'm about to do it. I'm about to move out there, man. Like wish me luck. And I said, Hey man, you got your brother out here. You don't got to worry about nothing. You know what I mean? So, uh, just for producing, you know, just being able to cast people like Elijah Booth, Denzel Whitaker, Matt Reif, Jay Reeves. I mean, it's just a blessing to be able to work with your friends, you know? And Elijah, he definitely came on set. He brought his A game and um, people people had their eyes on him. So thank you for that, Elijah. I love thank it. You. Thank you for the opportunity. I, I love mean, it. for me, it's been a dream and and like hope said it's always a blessing when you get to make art with your friends um it doesn't feel like like work but if, you know for me it's always been you know that 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 journey of acting i started out humble beginnings with theater from theater i transitioned to tv and film um but never in a million years did i think that i would step into the world of producing and never did i think on this scale and, um, you know, with Hope giving me the the olive branch um, and the opportunity to be able to see the industry and to see uh, cinematography and filmmaking through a different lens has been such a blessing and such a huge learning experience for me that, I mean, it's, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless for sure. Love that. Love that. It's beautiful. It makes the, the difficulty... Because it can be a hard business. I think we all know. There's more no's than yeses, you know, in both yeah. uh, as an actor. That's why I also dabble in the filmmaking side. And also what brings me in front of you is, you know, when you're not producing or working on a film, you, I, I still love film and I want to promote other cats. So, like, that's how I found myself doing this in front of you guys right now. Um, yes. Just keep at it, right? Um, so, Elijah, yes. this amazing role you get. Uh, tell me about, you know, climbing on board, uh, working with Hope, good friend, hollered at you. Uh, getting the gig. Uh, tell me about, you know, uh, bringing to life your character uh, without spoiling for anybody that, you know, again, it's it's dropping Friday, February 9th, y'all, uh, in theaters. Uh, but just tell us a little bit about your character. For sure. So I play D uh, in The Private Eye. And D is one of those characters that is, you know, finally trying to come on the up and up and uh, make a, a, a name for himself. And uh, he has his cut buddy Stone who absolutely is the alpha male, you know, out of the, the two of them. And um, my character is pretty much like the, the bip to his bop. Um, and I think that's probably all I can say without spoiling too much. It is, it is an incredible scene. I mean, as soon as I, I read that script, I knew that I wanted to, to do it. It's different from anything that I've ever done before. Um, and I wanted a challenge. I definitely wanted to step into new territory and also see myself in a different light, especially when it comes to the genre of this film, mm. mystery, rom-com. And there's so many beautiful comedic moments throughout. And I think that, uh, you know, one of my scenes that I have with Jay Reeves, we really, really tap into that. Um, so that was a blast for, for me to be able to, to see myself after a 16 year career uh, in a much different light. I love it. I uh, hope I, I think I heard you. You're you about to chime in with something a little bit there. Yeah. Um, what I can say is uh, um, I was going to, you know, piggyback on what he was saying about the mysteries. Um, I One of the, the, the main things I love about this project is that it's a mystery and it kind of um, entices you to want to watch it a second time. Um, just like the Sixth Sense, Fight Club, Usual Suspects, 
Matrix. Like the first time you watch it, you're kind of like, all right, I think I know, but I don't know. And then you watch it again and you're like, oh, they gave me all the clues in the first two minutes of watching it. It just went over my head. So that's one of the 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 main things I love about this movie. Yes, it's romance, yes, it's comedy, but that mystery is really, really gonna keep the audience on the edge of the seats the whole time. I, I'm gonna echo you on that. I definitely uh, agree with that statement. Just by this poster right now, when I was talking okay. with uh, Jack and uh, Elliot last week, like right before we got rolling, I just noticed something about the poster. I'm not gonna spoil yeah. anything, yeah. but you know, Matt Rife, Eric Roberts, you know, yeah. I was like, hold up. Okay, yeah. I see it there now. Um, I'm glad, glad <laughs> you didn't catch it from your first glance because that was an issue. We thought it was gonna spoil the movie, but we were like, oh, no, nobody's noticing anything, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Great yeah. casting, by the way. Young uh, uh, Matt Rife as a, well, I'm about to mess something up right there. But, right? you know, the casting for that was, yeah, was they, on the mic. They, <laughs> they look similar, so that's that, that's all we can say is they, they <laughs> Matt Rife looks like a younger version of an Eric Roberts, you know what yes. I mean? With oh. Killian Murphy in there, you know? So, yeah, it was perfect casting, perfect casting. We couldn't have really asked for a better cast. Agreed. And uh, again, amazing Elijah over here. So you, you talk about being a, a, a little bit of a challenge, Elijah, if I can go back to yeah. you. Uh, so what did you do to connect with the role? Uh, to And I have a lot of other actors, filmmakers that watch these interviews. Uh, so like, what did you do? What, what would be a recommendation you would say to any other actor out there, you know, getting something that's a little bit different to center yourself, to bring to life the character? That's a great question. Um, I had the privilege of going to a performing arts high school, studying acting. Um, I've had a lot of great coaches throughout the years. And my, my main tip that I've always learned is research, right? And our research isn't just in our uh, digital research, it's in life. And so what I wanted to do was put myself in that environment um, going to certain areas, hanging out with certain friends that I know that might have a little bit more swag than than I do when it comes to, you know, that that role calling for it. And um, of course, watching legendary films, Juice, Menace to, to uh, Society, Friday, Friday After Next. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I think I was able to find my flow. And what also helped, of course, is working with amazing co-stars like Jay Reeves. Uh, and also working with amazing, you know, collaborate, uh, sorry, collaborators like Hope and and, and like Jack that uh, make it really, really easy for you to just fall in. So, yeah, it was a blast. Yeah. Awesome. To piggyback that, uh, I could definitely tell that Elijah watched uh, Menace to Society because when you guys see, the <laughs> see, he has an old dog type of hairstyle. And I was like, oh, OK, he came to bring it today. He came right. to bring it ever seen Elijah with that hairstyle just even in his personal life so I knew that that was a real creative choice and I love that I love that he did that nobody really really takes it that far to be like all right let me change my hair you know what I mean let me just braid it up and just it, it definitely brought that that nuance to, to Dee's character for sure I love that and on the indie films we all know indie films can be hard and sometimes not all things are thought of so when an actor comes on to you know uh, the production like that, right? Hope that, and they come bringing flavors into the, like you, like you said, that that's outstanding. Uh, yeah. It, it really complements the film. You know what I mean? Like um, with actors, you know, we'll have certain things in the script, but there's things that they bring to the character. You know what I mean? There's things that they see that we don't see that enhances that character. So shout out to all the actors involved. I mean, that's, that's character work for real. Love it. All right, Hope, let me throw something at you, man. You've been working on quite a few projects and as well as this amazing project right here. What was uh, some of the biggest things you learned and, and uh, uh, that you can also tell me about the set uh, and working on The Private Eye? Yeah, one of the biggest things I learned is, um, well, there's a lot. One of the big things that I did learn is, you know, to always try to do things by the book. Um, you know, with this production, it was the first one that we did do by the book. You being a filmmaker, you know about guerrilla, guerrilla uh, style uh, filmmaking and whatnot. Um, and we could have easily did that, but you know, we didn't want to jeopardize set, and we had some really big players coming out to 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 be on set with us. So it would suck um, for us not to do our due diligence and have mm -hmm. you know wait money and whatnot. So 
um, that's one of the, I would say that was 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 um, a, a big one. Uh, what's another one? Well, I guess I can go back to that one. We did everything by the book. So, for an example, there was a couple of days where the police rolled up on our set and just to check if we had permits. Mm-hmm. You know, and like it's COVID, and most people would think like, "Well, police aren't going to come check. Like, we're good. Like, you know, we don't have no issues." But they, week after week, they were just stopping by, like, "All right, where's your permits?" And I'm, I'm out there, happy go lucky. Here you go. You know, right. what I mean? served. You know, so. They tried to stop our shine, but they couldn't because we did everything by the book. I mean, this is 100 percent independent filmmaking, but we do emulate ourselves, you know, uh, as the greats, you know, like the Spike Lee's, the Martin Scorsese's, the John Singleton's, the Fellini's. Like we we look at what they do and then we implement that into our our, our business module. You know what I mean? Even to the point where we, we just got back from tour. You know, I personally don't see a lot of productions doing that. They're not taking you know, their whole, you know, their cast with them to go promote the film. Like mm-hmm. rappers do that all the time. And, you know, um, these big budget movies, they do that. They'll go on a breakfast club and things like that. But for independent filmmakers and us doing that, I really feel like we're, we're trailblazers right now. Like we are the new Hollywood. I love oh, that. Yeah. Absolutely. And and props to our incredible director, Jack Cook. You know, it, it's with great gratitude from my heart i mean i'm still it still gives me chills to just think that we literally took this film across country before we debut it nationwide and it's just like i've been in this business for a long time this does not happen it doesn't mm-hmm. happen so doesn't. It's, it's definitely been a huge blessing i can definitely echo that and agree to that shout out to jack shout out to my man jack yeah. and i'll tell you when i was talking with eric and eliza last week as well uh, you got you all got the cosign from them, and, and you know those are freaking legends, y'all. Y'all are blessed to have them. Number one, let's be real, real to have them involved with this project, which makes it look yeah. good for everyone involved. And they even said uh, that they want to do any project going forward from Illusion Islands. So y'all yeah. are killing it, man. To have respect like that is is a big cosign. Uh, yeah, no, especially yeah. there was a couple people that kind of pulled me to the side, you know, at both New York and the Sensi premieres, and it was like. Yo, Matt can really act. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he couldn't, we wouldn't have put him in the film, you know? And, yeah. you know, we did two to three works of rehearsals with the actors and whatnot. So just to get everybody Work comfortable, not- getting the feel of things. So I think anybody that watches this film, like you said earlier, it has potential. You're, you're, you're seeing actors who are the next up. They're literally, like, upcoming and any moment is going to be their big break. The private eye could be their big break. You know what I mean? So you're exactly. just seeing the of the crew, the writing, the producing, the cast, like just all of it wrapped up. We have an incredible ensemble. Definitely agree. I, I just, yeah, when I saw it at first, we did like a trailer reaction to it. I wasn't like, I was curious what it was. It felt like a very like film festival art film. And yeah. then, and then, but then, cause it's Matt Rife, you know, Matt is known yeah. for comedy. But like yeah. this is the brother acting. Like we ain't seen Matt act. So yeah. Yeah. when you finally watch it, okay, like it's not really a it's got comedy elements, but it's more of like a mystery thriller. And, and he's like really acting in this piece. Like there's oh. you know, you're getting emotion out of him, as with everybody else. Um, so I'm very curious how it's gonna perform. Um, but I think it's one of those films when we watch it again, you're like, okay, you'll understand it, you'll feel it. It's definitely a good film, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I will say to add to that. One of our uh, co-stars said it best, Charles Worth, a.k.a. Chip the Red. He said that this is a film, The Private Eye is a film so nice that you have to watch it twice. Twice, twice. And it really, really is. It really, really is. And that second viewing, you just get to see all of these hidden gems that are placed and showcased throughout the film. So it, it really does give, you know, viewers their own mystery to solve from start to finish. Exactly. And to piggyback off what you were saying earlier, yes, Matt is a comedian and he's probably one of the most famous comedians right now. Um, But I feel like, you know, Cat Williams said it on his interview, all comedians, they want to be actors. That's like the next level for them. And, you know, I mean, we can look at the greats like Dave Chappelle, even to the Robin Williams. I mean, they bring a certain level of nuance to characters 
that regular people can't do without being comedians. Like, I feel like that's the hardest thing is being a comedian and trying to get serious versus being serious and trying to be a comedian. So hats off to Matt Wright for just giving a, 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 an outstanding performance. I feel like everyone who watches this, they're going to recognize the talent that that brother has, not only as a comedian, but as a true thespian. Love it. Well, respect Absolutely. to Matt Rife. I want to recognize y'all two amazing brothers. Y'all are <laughs> bringing it. I can't wait to see what y'all are going to do next. And, and like I said earlier, uh, I'm giving y'all an open invitation to please come back. Let me show you love. Let me give you your flowers for, for the next uh, batch of projects you're going to you're gonna get. And especially after this, when this drops, you're going to be in demand. And I want to come, uh, y'all to come back so I can give you that love. Um, oh, man. What definitely. definitely want to, I'll, I'll give you a, uh, an exclusive. Oh. Our next one is a horror film. Oh, okay. I like horror. Well, yeah. All right. And we're that, with the heat, that, for sure. Be ready. It's coming. All right. right after, is Elijah coming back through? Oh, Elijah's oh. definitely coming back through. Right after we wrap up with this whole press tour and everything, we're going right back into pre-production, and we're starting on this new horror. I love that. We're yeah. keeping it in the family. I like that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you get a good group of Adam cats, Sandler, you want to keep it in the family. Adam Sandler, Seth Rogen. I mean, there's just so many people that just keep it in the family. They have their core bunch for a reason. Like we are, we've grown a family. You know what I mean? Like we've been hotel to hotels, parties, clubs in Dumbo. Like we've just been together. So at this point, we know, hey, we all mesh well. We all like each other. We can work together. And when you're working with friends, it doesn't even feel like, work, feel like you're hanging out and kicking it. You know, so it don't. It's not even like, work. It ain't even work. Not, it's not. <laughs> Camera rolling, and we're all just having a good time. I love it. Well, now I got to make my way out to LA so I can become part of Illusion Island and hang with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a pleasure to chat with you, gentlemen. Uh, everybody, the private eye arrives in theaters on fr uh, Friday, February 9th. Uh, yeah. Hope Ayiyi, writer, producer, Elijah Booth, actor extraordinaire, amazing gentleman. I can't wait to have y'all back and, and celebrate that horror. We're going to talk all about it. Everybody, boy, Kui P, nerds rule the world. Check out The Private Eye in theaters Friday, February 9th. Kui P. Peace. Peace. All right, y'all, there's a cut.